uh, I miss the interactions and that part. And it, I think it's a little bit more challenging for those of us that have these hands-on, your elective classes that you get to do stuff versus making all these paper assignments, so to speak. It's a little bit more challenging and I, I miss the interaction. So I'm not going to try to bring up the recipe because when I've done that twice, I've done it and it's cut out. But this week it's Southern Biscuits and I did put on the jambalaya. The reason I opted for Southern Biscuits is most of those ingredients you're going to have at home. Jambalaya is a long list of things, and it's a chicken jambalaya. If you were making a true Creole or Cajun jambalaya, we'd probably have shrimp, seafood. Uh, but I did give you the recipe, so if you wanted to try it, by all means you can. The biscuits are basic flour, salt, baking powder, shortening that you cut in, and then you have to knead it a little. If you remember when we made pizza dough in the first level, push, fold, turn. You don't have to do it very much with biscuits because the more you do it, the tougher they're going to be. And then what we usually use in the classroom is just a glass if you don't have a regular biscuit cutter at home or a donut cutter works if you take the donut whole thing out. Just you can use a glass and cut them or you could use a round circle and take a knife and cut around them. And they're a baking powder biscuit kind of like if you've had those um, at like Kentucky Fried Chicken for example has a baking powder biscuit they're kind of like that and personally I think they're best when they're eaten warm with some jam or honey jelly peanut butter whatever you like I guess on biscuits so you can do that uh, what we're doing is we're doing remember we're doing the regional foods and then I'm going to also be bringing in some cultural stuff. You probably noticed on Friday it's French uh, because next week we'll be doing crepes, which are very thin French pancake. Have any of you made crepes before? Taylor says no. Emily or Ashton, have you? Okay, well then this will be new. It is a really thin, it's thinner than your pancake batter. It's really liquidy. And actually I've cut the recipe in half and you'll still get a lot of crepes. So that's easy one because you'll have the ingredients. It's milk, some melted butter, flour, a little bit of salt. It's not a hard recipe and it doesn't have a lot of ingredients. Again, if we were in class, we usually have a contest by uh, decorating the plate because that's kind of part of the second level is learning some of those creative additions to things. So we, we always did the golden spoon for the most creative plate. And there's different ways you can fold your crepe. You can stack them like you do pancakes or if you've ever had them or seen them in a restaurant, there's some different ways you fold them or you can fan them out on your plate. And I'll have to see, I probably saved some of those pictures from last try that I can probably put on for next week or I'm sure good old YouTube <laughs> will have some examples. And maybe we can just have a contest between our class too. If people submit their crepe plate, we could have some kind of winner for that. Uh, so I'll talk about that. Um, I think I have this going on on Monday or Tuesday again next week, and that's when I was going to go through the crepe recipe. And so then after we do crepes and we talk a little bit about the French cuisine, we'll move over to Southwest. And do you know what foods are familiar with the Southwest? Anybody have a guess? Or did any of you do that questions or cards from the Southwest? Since there's only three of you, you might not have. <laughs> Southwest is known for Tex-Mex and Mexican cuisine, so we usually do fajitas. And again, you could do tacos, you could do chili, you could do burritos, enchiladas. So we'll talk about Tex-Mex and Mexican food. So that's kind of where we're headed. The other thing I was going to 
talk about, um, if you haven't done it, I mentioned this way at the beginning, the serve safe where you can get, uh, take the class. There's five different uh, programs within the class. I took it last, I think it was Monday or Tuesday night. It's long, but you can pause between each one. I watched it for about an hour and then took a 30 minute break and then came back and watched the last two sections, which is really nice. You can resume it. And then at the end, there's a test. It's 45 questions. They're multiple choice. And really, if you just listen, I didn't get a perfect. I got two wrong. I got 98. The, the ones I got wrong had to do with temperatures. So as they're talking about the different temperature of the water and the internal temperatures of food, that might be something you want to really pay attention to because there was three or four questions on temperatures. But otherwise, you'd be surprised how much of this stuff, it's personal hygiene, safety issues that, you know, a lot of it we've talked about and a lot of it is common sense. So then uh, if you do this and you are able to print the certificate. If you can't, you can screenshot it. And then I'm doing a drawing for a $20 gift card to a food restaurant of some kind, or maybe takeout, whatever I get. Um, and then if we're back in school, I'll draw it there. Otherwise, I'll just draw it on like May 1st, because this is open till April 30th. The link is, excuse me, the link is on the front of the Schoology page in the I think it's there as an attachment, and it's also in the updates if you look at some of my um, messages to encourage you to do it. It's there. Uh, so I do. It's good for three years. Mine says it's good till 414 of 2023. And so if you're going to any food establishment, restaurant, again, fast food, and if they knew you had this food handler certification, that's a really good way to get a job because you'd be hired before other people because then they know they don't have to train you as much or you don't have to take some of their courses because you've already taken them. So I encourage you to do that. Um, as far as this week, you probably did your note cards from yesterday. If you haven't, do that. And then I have um, the biscuits for you to do. Oh, tomorrow is a matching of the people from the different regions with their areas and you can find those answers on the attached pages it's a it's from a different source so the chapter number doesn't match up with what it says on the sheets i gave you so i think it's chapter 23 but our book it's like 50 but that doesn't matter the pages are there or you can always google and then I had the biscuits for Thursday and then the French cuisine video clip on Friday. I waited to do the no, the um, French reading till next week because I figured we're supposed to be doing about three and a half hours per week with instruction. And I thought, well, that's going to be too much probably with the lab in there. So. That's where we're at. That's what I have for you. Uh, it was just a check in and to see how everybody's doing. Did you have any questions on anything? All right. Well, if you do, you know, just send me the Schoology message or an email. Otherwise, have a good rest of the week and Look, I believe I have us down for Monday or Tuesday of next week. So take care, everyone, and I'll see you, talk to you hopefully next week. Bye now.